By the end of this class, you and your dog will have what it takes to play Frisbee. Hey everybody, my name is Rachel Sample. I'm a dog trainer and I'm here with the Desire Company. You're about to learn how to teach your dog how to catch a Frisbee. And all you need for this class is Frisbees. So teaching your dog how to catch a Frisbee is a lot more than just playing the game. It's about creating that bond with your dog. So don't get discouraged if your dog doesn't want to chase the Frisbee right away. It can take a couple of days for them to learn the game. Make sure you bring your A game and a lot of energy when you're playing this so that your dog understands it's a fun game. So the first step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to amp your dog up and make them really excited excited so that they'll want to tug the toy. So giving your dog a lot of energy for this game is really going to help them want to tug on that toy more. Especially if you have a lower or more calm dog, you want to make sure you're bringing a lot of energy to the table so that they want to tug that toy. You want it to seem like a game. Once your dog is really excited, your next step is going to be getting them to firmly tug on that toy. So when you're first playing tug, I like to introduce a command. I tell my dog to get it and I wave the tug toy on the ground to entice them to chase it. Once they get their mouth on there, you're going to tug on the toy with them, let them play, and after a little while, you're going to let them win that toy. If your dog doesn't want to tug on the hard frisbee right away, you can use one of the softer frisbees to get them introduced to the frisbee. So I use a soft chuck it disc to help them tug on the toy, and then after they're tugging confidently with the chuck it, then I will move to the hero disc. So the reason you want to start with the soft disc first is because the hard disc might be a little bit hard on their teeth. So the soft disc will really encourage tugging and it'll really help them gain confidence tugging on that disc. So don't get discouraged if your dog is taking a little while to get really excited about the Frisbee. Make sure you're doing short sessions and slowly build up drive for them to want to tug on the toy. So once you've mastered tugging, then you're going to get your dog to chase rollers. Grab your Frisbee, flip your hand, and do a downward flicking motion to roll the disc. This is gonna entice the dog to chase after the disc. The reason that we do rollers is to help the dog track the disc on the ground. This will help transfer tracking when it's in the air. Once the dog can track the disc on the ground, we wanna look to see if they're catching the disc in motion. This will also encourage the dog to turn their head and grab the disc, which will also help when they're starting to learn to catch it from the air. So while you're teaching your dog rollers, you're also gonna to wanna to teach them to go around. So what this is, is you're having the dog go around your backside and shooting out in front of you. This is gonna help them learn to send forward to catch the Frisbee. Some of you might have a dog that will chase the Frisbee when you throw it, and then they stop and wait for it to drop on the ground. So this is why we do rollers. This will help your dog to chase after and track the disc and grab it while it's still in motion. So once you've mastered the rollers, you wanna teach your dog to take the Frisbee out of your hand. So what you're gonna do is you're going to get your dog running and you're gonna hold the disc up high enough so that they have to jump. You're going to tell your dog to get it, that same word that we use for the tugging, and entice your dog to jump up and take it from your hand. Then you're gonna tug on the way down to encourage and reward taking it out of the air. So the important part of this step is teaching the dog to take it out of the air. So transitioning from the ground to the air. So after your dog is taking it out of your hand, your dog is ready to start catching frisbees. So you're going to send them around and you're gonna do a really short toss a couple feet in front of you. The biggest mistake that you can make is whipping the disc 30 feet out. So after they're catching some short tosses, then you can go ahead and start slowly increasing the distance so that your dog is successful in catching. Just remember to have patience with your dog and don't forget to have a lot of fun. This is a game and a bonding experience for the both of you. Are you looking for more product advice and wisdom from me? Or me? Or me? Hit that subscribe button or head over to thedesirecompany.com for more classes, how-tos, and reviews.